Right, so my good mate Dominic wants to know how do I double clutch car or mid drive speed boost or whatever you want to call it, yeah? So I'm going to tell you how to do that on PS4 or next gen, so because this should work on Xbox and Xbox One and probably PC, it kind of depends. So, first off, we're going to start with a front wheel drive. Obviously, we're going to start off with this rice box right here. And what you need to do is when you hear second gear coming to an end, you need to tap the normal brake, so the, the button that you press to brake in reverse, so in this case it's L2, and the handbrake, which in my case is R1. So, we'll go through step by step. So, you want to start off, second gear, like that. You'll hear it bouncing off the limiter and you should see a, um, a sudden kind of burst in acceleration. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes this car will get the wheel spinning, but we'll have another go. There we go. Nice little turbo blow off sound as well. So yeah, you want to tap the, you want to let go of the accelerator, press the normal brake, so that brake, press the e-brake as well, or the hand brake, and then accelerate all really quickly in between second and third gear. Takes a bit of practice, but it should be fine. There we go. I think the key is, is that you tap the brake first, so this brake first, and then the handbrake and then the accelerator I think that's the key because then you get the wheel spinning and then you shoot forward but I know not that many people are going to be driving in front wheel drive anyway but it's good to know it's good to know anyway we'll give it one more go and then we'll move on to the next drivetrain there we go So yeah, that was front wheel drive. I think now we'll move on to, we'll go to all wheel drive, four wheel drive this time. Right now here we're gonna be doing all wheel drive slash four wheel drive, double clutching or mid drive speed boosting or whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna call it double clutching from now on or clutching because it's easier to say. So now with all wheel drive, it's basically the same as front wheel drive that I've just told you. So basically you want to tap the normal brake, the button that you press to reverse, which is L2. Then you tap the E-brake, which is R1, and then you press the accelerator. So you let go of the accelerator, L2, R1, accelerator, all between second and third gear. I'll do give you a demonstration right here. Love the turbo blow off on this, but yeah, you would have been able to see when I when I tapped each button because the the brake lights came on, and you were able to hear like a bit of tire squeal. That's when I tapped the handbrake, and then it just gave a sudden burst in acceleration because you could see the camera going a bit faster. We'll try, we'll give we'll give it another go. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of tapped the brake way too early then, but I still managed to get it. Because I wasn't at the end of second gear yet. So remember, release the accelerator, L2, R1, accelerator. And by the way, I've just forgotten to mention that sometimes your button configuration can be slightly different. So it might be that X is your is your um, handbrake, because in my case it was to default R1. So I'm just I'm just saying what my configuration is. But remember, you need to find out what your controls are and what you're comfortable with. So release the accelerator. So release R2, L2. Tap L2, which is brake. 
R1 which is the handbrake and then you tap R2 again which is the accelerator or whatever you have as each of the corresponding buttons so we'll do it one more time and then we'll move on to all wheel drive all wheel drive we'll move on to rear wheel drive sorry <laughs> that took a couple tries yeah make sure you get on time make sure you don't do it too early like how I did then so yeah that was that was rear wheel drive I'm seeing him getting me and then we're confused now. <laughs> now that was all wheel drive. Now we're gonna do rear wheel drive. Right now here we've got our cheeky little banshee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why did I say that? Oh well. Anyway, you'll be glad to know that clutching rear wheel drive most not a lot of people know how to anyway. But I'm gonna do it anyway. So basically all you need to do between second and third gear or even first and second gear if you're doing like short distance drag racing between first and second or second and third I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a demonstration of both um, you just basically let go of the accelerator tap the handbrake R1 and then press the accelerator again you don't you don't need to use the brake because the buttons are close to each other anyway so you can really easily do it and really easily kind of get the boost really quickly so I'll give you a demonstration right now I'm gonna do between first and second gear first and then I'm going to do between second and third on the next one. So yeah, that was between first and second. I know you may have not noticed it because I got a really wheel spin, really wheel spin start. But I did do it between first and second. You did hear the car banging the limiter. But we'll do it again with a less wheel spin start, hopefully. There we go. That was between first and second. So yeah, that was between first and second. That would be good if it was like shorter distance than this but if it's longer distance like this I'd recommend doing it between second and third especially with a fast car like this you might want to do it between first and second with like a slower rear wheel drive car just to get ahead of them really quickly so they have a longer time to catch up but that's a discussion for another video we'll do the well, I'll do a demonstration between second and third So yeah, that was between second and third. I'll do another run down here, just so that, just as a demonstration. So remember, between between first and second, or second and third, whichever whichever situation you find yourself in, let go of R2, tap R1, press L2, press L2, press R1. So you just need to use your right hand for this. Literally, that's all you need to do. You only need to use the right hand. Let go of R2, tap R1, press R2, real quick, all between second and third gear, you've heard that. So yeah, that's rear wheel drive, now I'm going to teach you how to clutch a motorbike, which is quite scary, but it works, if it's rear wheel drive it will work. Right, now we've got our wheelie monster right here, the Hakuchu or Hakuchu, or however you want to pronounce it. What I know is, is that it's a very fast bike. And basically, because this is rear wheel drive, because it's a bike, duh, um, you just want to tap R1 like you did with the rear wheel drive. Tap R1 between second and third. You can even do wheelies and stuff with this method if you really want to, but I'm not going to do that because I might fall over. So I'm not going to do a wheelie for this one. Well, yeah, I did do a wheelie, I lied. But, well. And I think it started raining. Nice. Perfect weather to double collection.
Yeah, this car, this car, this bike is dangerously fast. So yeah, I'm going to try doing a wheelie and double clutching at the same time, see if it works. Yeah, I'm kind of veering off the way. But yeah, it does work when you do a wheelie as well. I never knew that. I just tried that just now. <laughs> so now if you want to bike drag race and you want to go faster, there we go. You can now clutch when you're... You can now clutch while you're wheeling. We'll try it again to see if I can actually last all the way down the runway. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not very good at wheeling and staying in a straight line. I think I actually skipped a gear then, literally. I think I went from like third to fifth. That was quite funny. We'll see if we can get it one more time. If not, I'm going to finish this video here. Because my character is getting all wet in the rain. Sad times. So yeah, there we go. There you have it. You can clutch a bike as well while doing a wheelie. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe so that you can, you know, keep updated with new content. And hopefully I'll be up with more of these tips very soon. I should be recording these tips and tricks videos more often. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.